dress it's very very easy uh, it's not fitted to the body so this is also beginner friendly so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, draw the pattern first then we're going to cut on fabric so here you can see on my paper I actually had to join you can see the cellar tape because I didn't have um, a pattern paper that was wide enough so I'm just using like flip chart papers so I just kind of taped them together so that I can get the the amount that I want so you can see I've gone on to draw the this is the shoulder line and then we have the chest line we have the bust line and I have to move the paper so this is the line where we're going to draw our style so this is our style line I'm just going to note that down so this is the style line and then we have the hem so I'm working with the with the length the total length of the dress uh, is 59 but here on the paper, I have 58. So when I'm cutting on fabric, I'll have to add about two inches. So I'll add one inch so that I can get the 59 that I want, plus one inch sewing allowance, okay? So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to start with the upper part of the dress, okay? So I'm just gonna place this paper this way so that you can see. So uh, let's start our, um, our drafting on, on paper. So from the chest line here, rather from the shoulder line, I came down by 9.75 because I'm working with um, my clients. Arm hole is about 19.5 inches. I'll put the measurements in the description so that you can follow nicely. So I took 9.7. So this is about 9.7 as you can see. It's half of the armhole measurement of my client, so that I could put, uh, so that I could get the the chest line. And then, of course, this is our bust line. So we can go ahead uh, to measure our across part measurement or shoulder to shoulder. So the standard measurement is eight, but what I measured off my shoulder, uh, my client's shoulder is fourteen. So half of that is seven. So we're just going to mark seven inches here. I'm also going to pass a marker so that it's visible to you okay so this is seven inches you can see that is the across shoulder measurement and then I'm just going to connect this point down to the, the chest line so that we can get um, this is what would help us get our armhole if we were making for example a basic bodice we would do it that way so I'm just going to mark there and connect that okay so and then from there we want to measure our we want to measure the width of our neckline okay so we'll just work with seven the client that I'm working with is more on the bigger side she's a bigger girl so you don't want her to choke on this so we're just going to say four and then we'll be able to determine the depth after we've cut out the entire pattern because right now the way it is it's going to be complicated if you decide to do to to indicate the the depth of the of our neckline so from here normally you would be measuring your you would normally measure your your shoulder slant from here so maybe you would come down by let's say one inch normally or half inch or 0 0.25 it depends okay so you would be measuring this but now because of the style that you're making you can see it's more of like a, a butt sleeve so it means the sleeve is joined to the bodies so what we're going to do is we're just going to ignore that so we're going to come to the seven inch mark remember this is half the the across shoulder measurement so we're going to come down uh let's say by um one inch but before we do that the sleeve the sleeve length that we're going to be working with for my client is about okay so for some reason my 
my video stopped recording my phone was not recording i wonder why okay so i was saying we are going to determine our shoulder slope but first of all we need to decide the length of your sleeve so for my client i measured um sorry for my client i measured 16 inches but i don't have enough paper i think this is about uh 15 point something so what you do is this is this would be your normal sh across back measurement right so from here where you measured your seven you're going to measure the sleeve length so i'm going to use the sorry i'm you know i'm having technical challenges here somehow my recording keeps on cutting so i'll just take you back what i've done before the the, the the recording stopped i was trying to explain let me just bring this down further okay so i was trying to explain that this would be your normal across back measurement half of your across back measurement so i'm working with 14 so for me this is seven inches okay so now i want to determine the shoulder slant so i decided to first of all determine the length of the of the sleeve so for my client i'm using i measured 16 inches so i don't have enough paper i have about 15.2 or 15.3 uh, i'll probably add the the other remaining inches when i'm cutting out the fabric so what i did was from this seven inches you mark your sleeve length so i'm working with 16 but like i said i only have about this is about 15.3 like you can see it's about 15.3 so i'm going to use the entire paper to to determine the sleeve so after marking the sleeve length what i did again here just bring this close was um i came down by one inch so that i could mark the shoulder slope so from this original line that we drew come down by one inch and then we are just going to connect this point to that one one inch mark there like that and then you just draw your shoulder slant that way okay i hope that's clear and then from there i determined the sleeve opening remember this is not a fitted a fitted garment so even your sleeve opening shouldn't be tight or fitting so i decided to use 10 inches you can use less uh, maybe you can use um your armhole measurement as a guide uh, so you could do your armhole divided by two but i decided to just add so that it's a little bit more open um, for her so i'm working with 10 inches so that's how i determined the the sleeve opening so it's from that shoulder slant point and then you measure down 10 inches or whatever it is you're going to decide to work with okay so then from there Want to create room so from here we want to come to the point where we're going to be drawing our style line i hope you can see it. so it's somewhere here okay so this is our style line because my my client is a little bit on the big side and she doesn't want to be too exposed on the on the hips or on the legs so I decided to bring down the style line to 33 inches. So you mark 33 inches from your shoulder line all the way down to that 33 inches. I hope you can see that. Okay. So this is 33, 33 inches for her. You can go up maybe two or three inches if you want uh, to show some more leg it depends on what you want so since she wants to be a little bit covered so i came down to 33 inches so this is where we're going to be marking our hip uh, our hip measurement so you're going to say your hip measurement divided by four okay quarter of your hip measurement it's it's going to be your hip circumference measurement divided by four so for my client i'm working with 50 the hip measurement was 50 so 50 divided by four 
it gives me about 12.5 okay so i'm going to put that on the style line so you can see i didn't mark the waist and the hip line because really um we're not really going to use those measurements because you see that the dress is kind of loose i'm sorry for that i have birds in my neighborhood so if you hear that noise just ignore it bear with me okay so i'm marking 12.5 okay where is my marker okay there. i'll use the marker so that you can see so that is 12.5 that is quarter of my client's hip measurement so because the dress is not fitted okay you want to add some extra inches maybe you can add three or four um so that it's loose fitting and then it will create that flowy um, aspect of the of your garment so for her i'm going to add four inches four extra inches on the style line okay you can see i marked four inches you can mark three if you want three and a half um the more inches you add of course the more flow it's going to be because it's going to be kind of uh, uh loosey or loose more loose the less inches you add is going to be of course more fitted to to your body so it really you can work around and see what you really want uh to achieve from the okay so i'm going to open our pattern you can see it's very wide but um i just cut off the excess that we had and then i open the pattern up so that we can draw our style line so this is this is the line that we drew our 33 inch so this is 33 inches from the shoulder line okay i'm just gonna do that so that you can see so this is our style line, the 33 inches uh, mark point from the shoulder line. So if you want, um, like I said earlier, if you want to show more leg, um, you can actually go up maybe by 2 inches or 1 inch or 3 inches. depends on how much you want to reveal, okay? So now we're going to come to the edge of our paper here okay and we're going to measure so you can use five you can use six you can use four and a half to create that uh, asymmetric style so i'm going to use six inches okay i'm going to mark six inches from the edge just mark your six inches and then i'm going to connect this point to the style line there at the corner let me just bring this down so after marking the six inches so what i did here i hope that you were able to see that i just marked six inches you can mark five you can mark four and a half you can mark seven actually let me use six and a half i will mark six and a half okay so six and a half inches from the edge of your paper and then you're going to connect it to that corner there of your style line so this is our style line at say three inches from the shoulder line so i'm going to use my long ruler like this and i'm going to join those two points okay so i'm using i decided to use six and a half just to create that style to keep in more okay so six and a half Okay, I'm just going to make a pattern and then I'm going to mark from the other end of the paper, from the style line. Okay, so from this side of our paper, so this is the style line on the opposite side of where we've drawn the, the other line, we're going to connect it this way to that point. Okay. Just remove the stuff there. It's interfering with the paper. Okay, so I'm going to draw this line from the other end and connecting it to that six 
six to and a half inch points that are marked so that we have our asymmetric design okay so i'm just going to draw it that way okay so this is how our star looks like and i'm just going to go ahead and cut it to remove this because we don't need this here so this is what i'm going to cut off and then we're going to work on our neckline we are going to create our off shoulder um neckline and then we'll be ready to cut on fabric so let me just cut this off quickly very quickly and then we'll move on to our next part so you can see it's a very easy style it doesn't have the stress of you know you have to copy the style you have to put the dart and all that business okay this is very easy because it's a free fitting dress a free fitting dress and some of the measurements are actually not even needed okay so this is what we have for our style just getting rid of that paper that we don't need so our style looks something like this okay something like this and then yeah work with our neckline here i'm just going to confirm because we marked four inches okay so it's this one this was just confusing me okay so this is our four mark inch and we're going to mark four inches down it's going to come down four inches then on this line here we're going to come down by 3.5 inches and we're going to mark let's say three inches also you can mark 2.5 but i'm going to use three okay so the the next thing is just to join our points these points that we have created you see that so this is our four inch mark we also came down by four inch this is three and a half and then three and a half also so we're just going to slant it okay this way this way Because remember, the, the, the neck width we had measured was 4 inches and then now we have, we are going to create this kind of um, asymmetric shoulder there. So it's going to kind of be like an off shoulder. So you can make it wider if you want. So let's say you want to use more than 3.5 inches. So let's say you want to use uh let's say you want to use four inches you could increase that hope it doesn't and hope that it doesn't fall off the short <laughs> okay so then you can just connect that to this i'll just use a dotted line so that you can note the difference so this one will make it more off shoulder okay make it more of shorter so we have something like that and then the next thing will just be to cut off our shoulder and then we have our pattern and we'll be ready to cut the fabric all right 
So after having created our neckline, I actually think I'm going to use the dotted line, which is more extended, uh, so that the, the dress will fall more to the shoulder. So I'm just going on to cut off what we don't need. And I'm going to follow the other one. Okay, so here we have our dress pattern. Okay, so this is how it looks like. And then at the bottom, we have something like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to cut um, on fabric. We're going to cut two and then we're going to proceed to sew our dress. Okay.